this video, I want to show you how to make a custom GPT. I had a few designers mention it on my newsletter that they want to see me do a quick tutorial. So here's the tutorial. I believe every designer should be using custom GPTs because it's going to speed up your workflow. It's going to help you generate ideas a lot faster, whether it's for a side project or client work. Now, if you're not on my weekly newsletter, I will put a link in the description below. You can sign up. It's completely free. Every Monday, I do share a design and business tip for solo brand designers. So if that's you and you want to get those tips every Monday, then just sign up with the link below. Just put your email and your name. So one of the things to keep in mind when you create a GPT, number one is you need the plus version. So you, it's a $20 a month, I believe, for the subscription. So it's not the generic free one. You need to pay for the um, pro subscription to have these work for you, but it's worth it. The second thing is that you don't want to make one GPT do everything. You want to create multiple custom GPTs that do something really well, a specific task. Now, if you're struggling to think of what it can do, then here are some ideas for designers, uh, whether you're a brand designer or web designer, that can actually help you. Some of, the, some of the GPTs you can create is like a design brief generator, a landing page copywriter, Instagram or Twitter uh, content writer or creator, a logo critiquer, a mood board ID generator, a brand naming and strategy one as well. And so these are just a few design related ones that you can create. So I'm gonna load up GPT and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm currently using GPT-4. It gives you the benefits of the all the features. Now, what you want to do is go to the left-hand side. You can see I've already created some GPTs. I'm going to build some more, and I'm, I can always tweak and update these, but I want to click Explore GPTs. Once you do that, you can see there's a GPT store that allows you to download other people's GPTs. I would prefer to build my own. That's based off my process, my thought process, my thinking, some of my ideas, my frameworks, and so it's more custom to me. If you use these ones, it's based on other people's thoughts and ideas and concepts, so I recommend building your own. So if you go to the top corner, you can see you can click on my GPTs or create, but we're gonna click on create and it'll take you to the GPT creator. Now, once you're in here, you can create one. If you click create, you can see GPT will actually help you build the GPT by giving it some prompts and, and some ideas. This is for like beginners that really want a gu guidance and use this. If not, you click configure and this is the one that we wanna use. So for this one, I'm gonna go brand naming and strategy. You can put a description if you want based on my clients, uh, based on my brand workshop. It doesn't really matter what you put in there. It's fine. It's just for you. And then we've got the instructions. Now, before I go on the instructions, you want to go down. Conversation starters, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. You want to turn on code interpreter. This basically uh, enables you to you know, analyze data, upload PDF files, um, which we're going to need. So once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to up, go and upload and upload a bunch of um, you know, frameworks or strategy files that are PDFs. So for example, if I go to the one I already have here, I'm going to click edit my GPT. You can always go to the GPT and click edit. I'm going to go down. You can see I've got, you know, brand strategy, messaging. I put a couple of um, naming PDFs of eBooks I've bought in the past, you know, some books from Marty Numai as well in PDF format. And so this will help, you know, generate names. You know, all you got to do is upload, find the file and upload that, which is cool. And so I'll show you the instructions that I gave my brand name GPT instead of me typing it and showing you. You're a credible brand strategist with 20 years experience in the industry. Your role is to come up with a clear, concise brand strategy that, that a small to medium sized business can implement and action on. Your role is to also come up with a brand name when prompted using naming methods from authors Rob Myerson, Joe Murala, Alexander Watkins, and Ellie Altman. So those are all brand naming books. Um, some of them I bought, some of them you can get on Amazon. And I do recommend supporting these authors, you know, buying the books, learning yourself. Don't just rely on GPT. It's good to get the ideas. When you receive a brand strategy workshop PDF file as a reference, you must distill it down so everything can fit onto one page so I can send it to my client. So basically, every time I do a brand discovery workshop or a strategy workshop with my client, I summarize it all into a PDF. It's got all the text in there, you know, everything that I had in my Adobe Illustrator file that I was working on. It will basically, when I upload that, I want it to read that file and combine all that and to generate the strategy. This is very important that you add that instruction. Now, as we continue, if you don't receive a reference PDF file for the brand, treat the brand as a concept brand. Avoid providing cliche or common strategies, ideas that are common amongst average brands. Always use stuff that is relevant to the most recent technology and best practices. Your goal is to provide unique ideas the client can implement. Format the results with headlines and paragraph spaces. So I'm giving it clear rules on, on how to format. I'm, I'm basically telling it what its role is and who it is. And also I'm telling it 
instructions on what to do when you receive files and where and what information to receive. And obviously I'll give it the knowledge base so I can always say, tap into the knowledge base. You'll create a strategy in a few steps. So now in this section here, I'm starting to create steps for the brand. Just keep in mind, I think the word, there is a word limit of 2000 words or characters in this instruction sheet. I don't know if they've updated it, but just keep in mind, you can't just unlimited put text here. You just wanna be very specific, very clear, very succinct. Provide the following when prompted for step one. So I'm gonna show you in a minute, when I say step one, it's gonna generate all this. So I want it to do, you know, the North Star, the brand strategy, brand mission and vision, business goal, three core brand values, one line position statement, elevator pitch, USP. Then once that is complete, only when asked will you go ahead with provide step two. So once I get the information, I'll copy and paste that, put it in a Word doc or put it in Notion. And then I'm gonna say step two and the GPT will provide the next one will be brand tagline, slogan, voice and tone, personality, script, keywords. And then once that is complete, in your eyes, you'll go ahead with provide step three and then action plan to do a list. And obviously I can tweak these and fix it, etc. So that's what you got to do inside the GPT. Okay, and so once that is all done, all you got to do is go to the top and click update or confirm. Just make sure you tick on only for me unless you want everyone to download it. Um, but it's better to make your own private one. So click only me, then you click confirm. I can go back. I can click on my GPTs and you can see all the ones that I have. So I've got a newsletter one, brand strategy one, um, design briefs. And you can see this is the one that we just created today. And obviously it doesn't have any of the text. And so I can delete this GPT right here. So I'm gonna go to the left and click on the GPT and now it's ready to load once you've got that going. So now what I can do is I'm going to attach a recent strategy um, that I've done for a client. So I'm gonna upload my brand discovery workshop summary. Okay, it's just a PDF. So I'm gonna double click, load that in. And then all I gotta do is type step one and watch it generate. Now, I'll, while that's generating, I'll quickly show you the summary, what it looks like. Um, It's just got all the text, you know, the purpose, the vision, the brand values, personality slider, you know, all these type of things, archetypes, key features, benefits, user personas. That's all it is. It's just my template. You can actually download it. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to download that. But let's go back to what it generated. So now you can see what it's done. You can see based on the detailed information from the brand discovery workshop summary um, and additional insights from various sources and brand I was distilled essential elements of Horizon Doors blind and Blinds, which is my client. That, um, that I worked with. Brand strategy into a concise, actionable format. Here's a comprehensive overview. So we've got the North Star of the brand. We've got the strategy, the mission and the vision. So all the stuff that I listed out is there. So it's basically, it's taking all the information from the PDF and distilling it all. So then I can give it to my client and it's gonna be amazing because it's gonna, you know, deliver all the, you know, the strategy, the IDs, who the brand is, all that stuff. So to become a leading provider, of secure, stylish, and innovative doors and blind solutions for homeowners in Western Sydney, enhancing the safety and aesthetics of their living spaces. The brand mission and vision, Australian made high quality doors, blinds that combine security, functionality, and design elegance, ensuring a customer's peace of mind, enhancing their envi home environment. We've got the vision here as well. You've got the business goal, the goal to increase market share in Western Sydney by 20% over the next five years. Diversify our product range, include smart home compatible solutions and establish a second showroom to serve a growing demand. Now, some of these things, I, it may not seem that you mentioned it in the PDF, so you, you wanna be very clear that, you know, in the instructions that you, you clearly have to state, like use the information from the PDF or else it's gonna generate ideas based on, you know, that information. We've got the three core brand values, quality and reliability, customer centricity, and innovation. The one line positioning statement, we offer premium Australian-made doors and blinds to homeowners in West Sydney who seek to improve their home security and aesthetic appeal and enabling them to enjoy enhanced comfort and peace of mind. And that's exactly what we said. We said um, peace of mind, comfort, um, homeowners in Western Sydney, um, and security. Like that, Those are the main things that we mentioned in the PDF, um, which you can see, and it's literally using that. We've got the elevator pitch here. At Horizon Doors and Blinds, we understand that the safety and appearance of your home are paramount. That's why we specialize in high quality Australian made doors and blinds designed to provide both security and style. With our personalized service and commitment to innovation, we ensure that every customer provides a perfect, perfect solution for the home. Trust us to enhance our living face with our durable, stylish products. 
Now you can always say use more natural language, um, you know, simplify this, shorten this, all these type of tools to craft and make it better. And obviously the first round might not be good, but you know, because I've customized this GPT, it's gonna give me way better results instead of just doing the generic G like going into ChatGPT and saying, hey, generate a strategy. Like that's not gonna be good. This is more targeted, it's more specific. And then we've got uh, the USP. Unlike our competitors, Horizon combines the reliability of Australian made products with cutting edge design and smart home technology, offering a unique blend of security style. So it didn't mention it uses Safeguard um, or CrimGuard is one, of the, is one of the technologies. So I would probably change this and add that in um, to make it more specific to the client. And so that's great. So now once I'm done, I can literally just, you know, copy paste this, put it into, you know, my uh, designed deck or put it into Notion, wherever you're going to send, you know, the strategy um, document to your client, um, because this is, this is valuable to them. It helps them guide their business and their brand. Now, once I'm done with that, I can go step two and it's going to start generating all the next part of it. So it's going to give me a brand tagline. And it's pretty good for a first round. Transferring the threshold into a statement, behold, um, beyond doors and blinds, crafting a safe haven. That's pretty good. Innovation at every entrance, where style meets security, Australian made, global admired. Brand voice, knowledgeable, inviting, trustworthy. Yep. Website and formal communication, professional informality with a touch of warmth. Yep, that's what we wanted to. We wanted to be a bit friendly, um, is one of the keywords we use as well. Friendly, engaging for social media, brand personality, descriptive, reliable, and very secure, stylish, customer centric. Um, that's good. So you can see it's given us that. And then now I'm just going to click step three. So hopefully you're getting the idea of what a GPT can do. So now it's going to give an action plan, objective, target audience, key messages. And you know, these, my GPTs aren't perfect. I'm still building them out. I'm still tweaking them, making them better, but it's a great starting place to have this because it's going to save you a ton of time. So I'm sitting there thinking for hours and days and getting stuck or, you know, getting, um, you know, a mental block or whatever. It's going to give us the metrics of success. So it's given us some numbers or KPIs to aim for. It's going to give us a to-do list, marketing department, sales team. And obviously the client is not that big. It's, you know, it's a family business. They probably got, they got three, three to four people. Um, so some of this I could ignore and customize. It's always good. Remember, customize. Don't just rely on the first batch. And I can always like tweak things, you know, etc. So that's a brand strategy and naming GPT right there. You've got um, a Twitter post one, design briefs. Possibilities are literally endless. And I recommend building as many GPTs as you can. Start off with a brand strategy one, do a design brief one for yourself to practice. So this is how you make your own, create, uh, own custom GPTs. If you do wanna learn more about ChatGPT, um, Mid Journey and Firefly, I do have an AI course that you can down that you can get if you want to see some more of my brand process you can check out this video here and to watch that thanks so much